any organization must work as an open system. To know how the system works, we must first define what we mean by system. System is a set of interrelated and interdependent parts arranged in a manner that produce a unified whole. There are two types of the systems, closed one and open systems. The closed systems are not influenced by and not interact with their environment, while the open system dynamically interacts with the environment, taking their imp inputs from the environment and transforming them into outputs that are distributed into their environment again. So we can describe the organization using the system approach by Organization that takes inputs, resources from the environment and transform these or making process of these resources into outputs that are distributed into their environment again. The following figure describes the organization as an open system. As you can see, the organization has three main components inputs, transformation, and outputs. The inputs include the raw materials, human resources, capital technology and information. These inputs are transformed through the employees work activities, management activities, technology and operation methods to inputs which includes the products and services, financial results, information and human results and the system work within the environment. Take his feedback from the output and proceed his process through the environment. The following are some key concepts in the system theory. Subsystem or the nested systems, the part that make up the whole, Synergy, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, or the combined effect of the system. System boundary, boundary separates systems from the external environment. Open and closed systems, systems that are interact with the environment is open system and vice versa. Feedback, return of the information to the organization again.